the puzzles and word games are huge. Many would say they're addictive. David L. Hoyt is the foremost syndicated puzzle author in the world, and he's the author of Jumble and USA Today's Daily Word Roundup Game. So, congratulations, by the way. Thank five. you. He Thank has you. also got his own book and board game called Word Winder, and today he brought a giant version of the game to show us how cool is this. Yes. People love this, all of your games. Yes. How did you get started doing word games? Um, actually, I used to be a professional trader on the floor of the Chicago Board Options Exchange. And then I just decided I wanted to do something else. And coincidentally, someone had an idea for a game down on the floor. They made a game, they brought it in, they showed it around, and I thought, oh, that's interesting. You could actually possibly make money doing it. And I researched it, and I just said, I'm going to I'm going to do it and it took like 4 years to really figure it out though. To but where I could boy start did making. you do it. Jumble, I did. are you kidding? I mean that's gigantic. This game is, is apparently super popular. I had not heard of it yet, which doesn't mean anything. I haven't heard of almost anything, but apparently we can play this on an iPad or a yes, tablet, right? Yes, yes, it's on it's on all devices right now. Um, and we have a board game and we have a book that's available in a lot of different places. But what you're seeing here is, is sort you. of, there's a little bit of a story that okay. goes with this. Tell and, me about and, that. And here's the story. So this game debuted at the Chicago Toy and Game Fair. Mm -hmm. And a fourth grade teacher came up to us and said, you know, what you have here is the best educational game I've ever seen. And we thought, well, yeah, we, we kind of knew that, but we didn't necessarily know just, just how good it was. And how to do it. So she said, I have to have this in my classroom. But what she didn't know at the time was that it was still a prototype. It looked real. It was a prototype. So we made a whole bunch more prototypes. We put it in her classroom. And the results were just incredible. So she then was like, we have to have this thing. And then we <laughs> tested it in other schools. And then coincidentally, we had a chance to make this giant version of the game for something that was not educational related at all. Mm -hmm. um, and then there were teachers there. And they said, you know, you've got the best thing ever for, for schools. So you so, knew you had this built-in market for this wonderful game. So, so then what happened was we started testing the giant version in schools in the Chicago area. And the results have just been incredible. So now we are in the business of trying to sell this game. But we, it's, it's, it's a very expensive game, as you can imagine. So these, Show these, us how this works. So here's, here's how it works. Okay? And I have my shoes off because I'm yes. going to be walking on it. These, these boards, there's, there's 16 double-sided boards. And, mm -hmm. and you rearrange them randomly every time you play. So, so I'm no, not very good at math. How so many combinations does that give you? It's a decicillion. <laughs> And a decicillion a is a decicillion uh -huh. combinations one or it's yeah one with 23 zeros after it. So no two games will ever play the same. Let's Probably won't wear it out. Two decicillion okay. times. Got it. And what's going on here? And, and and there's actually a whole bunch of different games that you can play with this. But I've set mm -hmm. up uh, Wordwinder Sidewinder. And what's going on is you can make words as long as the letters touch. Like here's the word setting. S E T T I N G. All right. Okay. Here's the word grin. G R I N. Mm -hmm. Here's the word paging, P A G I N G. Okay, so they're not so, going to necessarily yeah, they don't be have in a to line. go in a straight line. Got it. And kids, you know, we found that kids even get that better than adults because they don't think in a straight line, anyways. Right. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, and then the objective is very simple, and this okay. is what's so compelling. The objective is simply to be the first player or team to connect one side of the board to the opposite side of the board. So you can see that right now. Orange is kind of going this way. Yes. Yellow is coming down. So pink if, is kind of in pink, trouble. Pink is kind of in trouble because pink could get blocked in. And that's the thing. You can not only try to get your words, but you can try to block your opponent. Exactly. Right? So what happens is if someone comes in and their first play is to, to you know, if they find a real long word this way, mm -hmm. the other two players will come in and they'll make a real long word that way. But what we're finding with the schools is that the, the strategy is just simple enough. The spelling part of it is just simple enough. Right. If, you're, if you're playing with third graders, they make a lot of three-letter words or four-letter words. But you can make as, as it, many words as it, you want. It, it seems to work on, on all levels. And so we're trying to go side to side, not top to bottom, oh, no, right? Either way. Okay. Either way. So Either if, way if, if you, you as get. long as okay. it's, as long as it's the opposite side. So if you get blocked going one way, then you might have to switch and go the other way. So for example, how might you connect orange? Well, Let's why don't we find out? Do you yep. want to be orange? Uh, uh, you be orange because I feel. You want me like, to be orange? Yes. Think orange is going to be better. Which yes. color do you want? Green. I will be. I will be. Uh, the, the pink one. Since oh, pink man, is, you're, you're... Yes. You know what he's saying here. He's saying he doesn't think I'm probably going to be very good at this. 
<laughs> so, so right now, what you're looking to do is mm -hmm. just to tie this together to the edge. Right. That's all. And you don't have to reuse any of those letters, but you could if you wanted to. Okay. You can all reuse right. your own letters. Oh, so it could right. be. I, I, I can uh, reuse my own letters. If you want to. You don't okay. have to. But for example, I can give you a few options of how you might do this if you want. Okay. okay? You like, can. Like, don't worry about making a super long word. Like, you mm -hmm. can do age. A G E connects this line to this, to this edge. Okay. Okay. It could be as simple as that. Or set. S E T and then S. Set. So that's all connects, I have to do. That's then, all then you I'm would have to do. Way. Okay. So now that you've done that, I'm going to do cage right here because oh, that right. was what I yep. was eyeballing. And add the S. Oh, yeah. Why not? There we go. Why not? So now I've got to stop you from getting over to here because if you connect this side now, you're going to win. So my next play is probably going to be to come in and do something. Oh, do you actually get a here. turn? I yes. can't just race over here and no, stop you? No, it's turn. <laughs> It's, it's turn by turn. Okay. Okay. All right. So now I've just put down fog, so you need, I need to go something. around fog. Okay, somehow. I need to go around fog. See how that let's works? Let's try. Let's try. Oh, that's not going to work. Yeah. All right. Let's try a word that starts with. And remember, you can reuse your T if you need I it. I can reuse my T? Yeah. Okay, well then we'll do. So you can actually use the S and T. We'll do tap okay. for right now. Very so now good. it's your turn. So now I might go ahead and not focus on you right now and try to Thank fill you, this. Thank you, because otherwise you're going to kill me. And, and try, to <laughs> fill, try to fill this gap. All okay. right, okay. Okay, so and let's see. I spell Lear is E E. I, I'll give you either one. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try. We'll, we'll do think, early. Rest. Let's see if I can get over here. Okay. So now I've got to stop you. If you spell yes. in on your next play, you're going to yep. win. Yep, that okay. was my plan. So I have to at least, I have to at least block that. I okay. thought I could get resting, but then I realized the I was way over so there in the corner. I've just spelled gin. Darn you, David. Gin. G-I-U. Okay, now what do I do? So um, now you're going to probably want to come up here. Okay, I'm gonna do nip. Is there a is there a nipping? Is there a uh, P -I -N? I've got the G. I've got the G. Are you, you being able to do are it? Such a bad person. Yes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I have to stop at nip. Yeah. All right. So do I'm gonna worst. spell. I'm gonna spell pit. P I T. Ah, he's a bad I man. I think you got it. You got do, it. I have see I got it. it? What do I, I do? It. You see it? Of course you see it. Um, let's see. T I E. There it is, right Woo! there. All right. All right. Way so, to let me win. Yes, exactly. <laughs> So, so you. That's fun. That's so fun. You just won by connecting the, that side of the board to the opposite side. But had I blocked you perfectly here, you could have gone that way. Yes. See, so at the last second you can change. So sort of like tic tac toe. You've it, just you've got a couple of different ways yeah, you can th go. There's yeah. all and, and if there if we had been playing with a third player, we may have needed to team up together. And see, that's one of the things that the teachers are loving. This game actually teaches. Teamwork right. and competition. So what strategy, spelling, the whole thing. It's fantastic, David. Thank you very much. You're, you're David very has welcome. created a customized Seattle word winder puzzle just for us today, and our studio audience is going home with a signed copy. And we also we also have the puzzle to post on our website for everybody at home to play too. Thank you so much. You're this very is brilliant. Welcome. When we come back, our good buddy Cisco Morris helps us celebrate Earth Day. We are gardening with Cisco right after this. That was super fun.